All right. So first of all, I just want to say a very happy new year to all of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I wish that all your dreams come true this year. And now let's get started. All right, let's start with these two objects here. So I have one leaf and one flower. And uh, basically I painted these quickly in Krita. So if I show you here, these are the quick steps. So first you create the outline and just add a gradient, then paint some shadows, then some more texture, then some highlights and then some more highlight texture. Same goes with the flower. So this is the basic uh, gradient, then the shadows and highlights. And then just bring those in a blender to a simple plane, cut it out and just bend it to the shape. Okay, so let's start and let's create a curve. So shift A, add a Bezier curve. Now you can create the curve itself using the geometry nodes but uh, after many experiments what I feel is that a combination of manual input with procedural geometry node input gives you the best results. So try to add manual input and then add geometry nodes over it. So now select the curve, press new to create your geometry node and I have changed that uh, timeline to geometry node from here. So this is the geo node editor and uh, we don't want this to be output geometry. So control shift right click to cut this. Okay, so let's start with the stem first. So shift A and add a curve circle. So search for circle, curve circle and add a curve to mesh node. So our input geometry goes to curve and output to geometry and the curve circle will act as the profile curve. So here it is. Now let's decrease the resolution and radius. Great. Now if I go to edit, just delete all the vertices. Just click this draw tool and draw here is our stem. Now let's quickly add a material for this. So select the curve, click on new material. Let's call it P stem and give it any color you want. For now, just a dark gray color. And in the geometry node, search for material and set material. So our mesh goes into geometry and here search for P stem. So here it is. Okay, so now let's distribute our leaf onto this stem. So you can just click and drag inside the node editor from the outliner or you can add this object info node in here itself. And now let's add instance on points. So search for instance on points here and just plug our object geometry to instance. And now I'll just add my input geometry, a curve into points. But before that, I'll just add a resample node. So search for resample and plug our original curve to curve. So here you can control the quantity of leaves so I'll set it to length and value of about 1.17. Now add this curve to points. Now we need to join these two geometries. So search for join geometry and plug the instances here. So here are our leaves. All right, so now let's first tackle the rotation of the leaves. So for that, we need two nodes. First one is align Euler to vector. This one will align the Euler of the curve to the vector of object. Uh, I'll show you. And another thing we need is the curve tangent. So 
so the rotation of our object from here object info goes into the rotation of align and then this rotation goes to the instance rotation and now the vector of the align will plug the curve tangent now change it to z and you can see now it is aligned to the z of curve so for now it is aligned but if you want to rotate it it will rotate through a node that is rotate instance so add it between here now if you rotate it in z you can see but we want a random rotation so for that let's add a random node so shift a add this random value set it to vector and we want x and y to be 0 now plug this value to rotation and this rotation value here it is not degree it is radian so you can just increase it as much as you want and you can see our leaves are randomly rotated okay so now tackle the uh, scale of the leaves so this is pretty interesting let me just align these a bit now for this we need one node that is the curve parameter node curve parameter now this curve parameter gives us the value of the curve points now to control it there are multiple methods but what I prefer is the color ramp so let me add a color ramp plug the curve parameter factor here and now just think of this color ramp as the curve itself so from here starting to the end it is the starting of the curve to the end of the curve and the black value is 0 and white value is 1 so because we are gonna plug it into scale think of it as black zero scale for leaves and white as one value for scale of leaves so if I plug it into scale you can see as our color ramp goes from black to white the scale of the leaves goes from zero to all the way up to one at top now the interesting thing about this color ramp is now you can edit your scale at any part of the curve so for example if I bring the white up you can see the scale goes up and if I increase the black you can see the scale goes down so I want a zero scale in the starting so I'll put the black somewhere around here and now I'll just bring the white up about here and now I can add more colors here so maybe add another color keep it white and then towards the end I want the leaves to be again a slightly little in scale so I'll just take this end white color and bring it down and maybe again in the very end I'll add another color and bring it to be black so there are no leaves at the top no leaves at the bottom and only the scaled leaves in the middle you can control it as much as you want all right so now all we need is our flower on top of this uh, plant so this flower is uh, p flower one i have renamed it so what i simply do is I'll just select all these uh, nodes which are creating the uh, leaves and just shift D to duplicate these and in the object I'll just add the flower so it was P flower 1 and now simply plug this resample curve 
so I'll plug it from here and now just join this into the main geometry maybe we don't want this rotation because there's only gonna be one flower so you can see all the flowers and simply just go to your color ramp delete all these between colors so press minus to delete and just keep the end one to be completely white and keep your black to be just below the white until you get only one so this is really simple if you wanna reduce the scale you can just come here and select this white and bring down its value this will reduce the scale alright so this is how I have created all these uh, different stems and small plants so I just created these simple leaf sets and flower sets uh, most of them are uh, hand painted by me in Krita and this one I just grabbed a real leaf and real uh, flower and tried with it it uh, came out really good you can see this one here so as always this original blender file is available to download and uh, you can just edit these and uh, experiment with these as you want so all you have to do here it is in the MS uh, collection just select any of these for example this one go to edit mode click on draw and start drawing all right and finally I just added uh, one more curve uh, here and added a simple geometry node to distribute all these in one instance so here it is the collection and you can also try out with this so it says draw me you just have to go to edit mode and again just click on the draw tool and draw whatever you want alright I'll meet you in the next video thank you so much bye bye